I just built this table behind me, made out of Ipe. And while I was building it, um, I was using a spade bit that was dull and had to figure out how to sharpen it. I watched some YouTube videos and I ended up making a picture for it. Um, I was using the spade bit for the legs. The legs have a little insert on them that holds like a, a pad. And so I needed to have a hole in it. But I ended up working on a little fixture I want to show everyone and see what you guys think. So um, let me present that. So this is the bit I was using. It's a one and a quarter inch spade bit. And I don't think I'd use it that much, but it was really dull when I was trying to cut the, the holes in the bottom of the, those legs. This is the wood. It's just, it's Ipe, which is pretty hard wood. But in general, it's just, it wasn't cutting into it. So I did a little research on it. And I ended up hand sharpening this a little bit. It's not great yet, but I'll try to do a before and after on it. It works, but I'm gonna to try to show you the fixture next, and then hopefully we see an improvement on how it did. So it's really, it's really just not cutting much. Like I don't see, there's no shavings. It's all kind of powder, powder, and it's also kind of just burning the wood. So let me show you the, the picture I made to help with this. So I have a, a Lansky sharpener that I'm using the stones from. And what I did is I created this little fixture that has a clamp in it. You set the blade in here, and then you clamp it with the screw. I think hand tight's tight enough. And then you have a rod that goes out to a, kind of just like a, a little plate that has a hole in it as a guide. And then if you're familiar with the Lansky system, you'll you'll recognize this. It's This is the coarse stone and then it has a, a guide rod. So the way this works is you put, you put this together here and then it is at the right angle. To get the right angle, you can either move this, this piece further left or right, or you can move the bit up and down. So I already was sharp trying to play with this, so I think it's already correct. So what you do is just like this. And just as in like knife sharpening, you, you look at where the contact is on here. So you could put a permanent marker and see where, where it's wearing to, to know if you're at the right angle or not. So I have a little bit more to go, so I'll pause the video and come back. I wanna progress on to the medium stone, and this will probably be the last stone I use. I'm also going to work on part of the tip and try to make sure that is cleaned up. To turn around, you can just essentially twist the bit. And I'll finish up the last side. So I've now sharpened the bit. I'm going to test it out and just see, see if it actually made an improvement. So definitely improved the cutting speed. I would guess it could go a little bit better. So I want to try it one more time on a, a brand new hole. So I'd say definitely it cuts quite a bit faster. 